Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline, your tarot reader and energy healer. So nice to have you here. This is a reading for the water signs for the last week of uh, January 24th through 30th. And I would like to start with uh, some energies from your uh, chakra going into a spread from Guardians of the night uh, tarot which i really enjoy and some clarification and then we'll be finishing off today with um an oracle card from whispers of love and also one of the uh, wellness cards from abraham hicks so let's begin by asking for divine guidance okay so let's take a look at these uh, chakra cards first put some reiki energy into the deck and we will be looking at the chakra for uh water signs for um pisces cancer and scorpio so in that order cards please for messages for cancer pisces and Scorpio. Cancer. Okay, Cancer. We have Clarity, which is the uh, third eye. A determination. And relationships. So this is the uh, solar plexus and this is the sacral chakra. Ooh, underneath is nurturing, which is what Gemini got. Okay, water signs. So um, cancer, um, you know, some of you are being called to open your third eye more to, to work on the energies of the third eye. Also in this card, I'm just feeling like maybe some of you are being especially drawn to crystals this week and to uh, especially the clear clear crystals i know i have um, some crystals in water outside collecting the energies of the new moon going into the full moon and as it's doing that the water is prepared to help to heal the the water and then the um we can can plant the quartz crystals to be part of the uh, grid. So here we have the clarity or understanding of things, knowing what's going on um, and following your heart. Um, so, you know, you may not choose to believe or to look at things anywhere near how someone else does. And that's okay. We each have our own uh, clarity and truth through our higher self and third eye. In the solar plexus, you know, we are looking for a lot of uh, self-motivation and strength. And when we see the, the fish uh, swimming up the river, you know, they try and try and try and try until they succeed. And hopefully a bear doesn't, you know, catch them and eat them. And uh, so... You know, not giving up on something just because it's hard, but, you know, keeping on going is part of the message of the uh, solar plexus. And then as you open the uh, sacral chakra, you know, we, we bring a lot more uh, creativity, um, clarity, beauty into our lives and uh, relationships. And so that can be uh, really, really important. Um, for you guys, uh, Scorpio, to have some relationship in your life. Okay. So it's kind of hard right now with the coronavirus uh, to meet people, connect with people, and to really have those relationships that you're looking for. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot uh, water signs.
you know, I was just thinking that, um, you know, when you're a, somebody who really values relationship and wants to be in, you know, the right relationships that'll really help you to grow and to be a better person. It gets harder when you get older because a lot of the people around you, even that do want that, are kind of set in their ways, set in their lives, and uh, they're not really looking for something new at that point. All right, so the first card is Motivation. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, and then the thing that's out of your control is the Two of Cups, uh, the external factors, the thing that is an obstacle, perceived or real, is the Eight of Pentacles. And wisdom that's coming to you is the Nine of Wands. Underneath, we have the Eight of Wands in communication. So, uh, Water Signs this week, you're being called to a um, greater level of communication, opening the uh, throat, the throat chakra, and, you know, just kind of the, the underlying message, you know, has to do with communication. So, you might run into something this week that, Communication is going to make all the difference for you and being willing to say the things that you need to say. I know that you, you're not in control of another person's response to what you're being saying, but that you need to say what's in your heart and should be said for yourself. So the motivation, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is a great motivation. Um, the Fire Signs actually got that as their second card in the motivation pile. So we're definitely looking at, um, you know, having having a lot of um, strength and support and uh, flexibility and knowledge and direction in her life. And so the Queen of Pentacles has a lot of uh, self-confidence, which is going to help you um, move into those things that you need to do this week. And so as you do that, um, some of the external factors will be this Two of Cups connection. So it could be a love connection. It could be, you know, it could be a romantic connection. It could be a friendship. But, you know, kind of like what I was saying that a lot of people are set in their ways and a lot of people, you know, a lot of decisions are out of your control. So what are signs, you know, you might find that what you want and what someone else wants is, you know, you're not on the uh, same page with that, but that's, that is out of your control. And then, you know, when we look at the obstacles of ways of looking at things is uh, patience you know, you've, you've put in the time, you've put in the effort, and now patience of kind of knowing which direction to go, waiting for the babies to hatch, uh, waiting for that uh, next opportunity, and can be uh, kind of difficult to do at times. And so the wisdom, in this case, I can see the wisdom is, you know, stay away from the porcupine, stay far away from the porcupine. So, you know, this. There are, there's some people that you need to stay away from. There's some situations you can stay away from and that will be wise for you. And, uh, you know, what you say so that it's not prickly. And uh, it's true that what you say, you're not responsible for others' reactions. At the same time, you know, follow your heart into saying things that are pure and kind and loving. And the other, the energy of the porcupine can also be a new beginning. And so kind of seeing things from a, you know, fresh uh, perspective, fresh way of looking at things, you know, and then this card is also about kind of like fighting your own battles and being alone. And so the wisdom may be that 
Um, you may you may have to do that because of this this card uh, being in the things that are out of your control. But if this person is coming toward you, you might be able to have a connection together in that uh, in that situation. So let's take a look at the some more tarot to uh, clarify these positions. So um, anything more about uh, the motiva motivation for the water signs? Okay, so, oh my, I got this again. This is the card, the exact same position that I got for the air signs. So I think that everybody this week is going to be struggling with uh, pessimism, having a hard time seeing things from an optim optimistic type of position. You know, it's kind of like seeing what's in front of you, but not realizing what's behind you or not seeing what is in your future. And... Uh, Things that are out of your control. The Four of Swords. So some of the things coming in your dreams this week. Um, some external factors of just um, needing to, you know, rest and recuperate from something. For some of you will be a factor in your lives. And the Eight of Pentacles which is obstacles or things that you perceive differently. Um, yeah, all of these. These came out in the other readings, but not this dramatically. So water signs, uh, definitely the, car, the, the message, daily messages that I got that I posted on my Facebook, they all were these cards and trying to help your mind turn around and see things from a new perspective. You know, it's, pessimism, resting, but yeah, kind of a sadness energy. And then uh, Five of Swords is again, you know, that pessimism. So, you know, turning things around and finding the optimism in it. So what is the uh, wisdom is the Queen of Pentacles. So we have that twice now because we have the Queen of Pentacles here and here. So both the uh, motivation and the wisdom is having a grounded determination focus on abundance in your life. And it also could be a uh, earth sign coming into your life. Okay, water signs. Um, motivation is also the empress three. So... Really, part of what's going to motivate you this week is just really wanting to come together as a unit, the three, and to um, be uh, fertile and producing and abundant. Uh, those are the kinds of things that will motivate you, uh, creativity in your life. And external factors, you know, uh, new opportunities. So... Things that are out of your control is, you know, weather this week is going to be a four of swords just waiting for healing week or whether it's going to be a new opportunity week probably is not going to be in your control. It's something that's out of your control. And uh, an obstacle or a perception could be the fool. So you could be afraid that the decisions you're going to make are foolish or that they're, they're the right ones. You know, stepping into the new, being afraid of that change that may happen in the journey that you're going on. Wisdom. Okay, so another three. I just, you're really getting that strong sense of you know, the connection of the three and wanting to come together and connect with people. Um, you know, the wisdom of connecting with the right friends at the right time, uh, the really the right people in your life. So the, uh, anything more about motivation? Ooh, ooh, victory. So really wanting to, you know, win. 
and go that you know get that next step go that next mile is good to move away from this uh pessimistic you know five of cups into the new six energy of the wands okay things out of your control wow the two of cups twice oh my goodness yeah so you will definitely be wanting to control a connection with another person and that is just not something you'll be able to do um everyone has free will so that's why like if you're looking for a relationship you know you ask for the relationship not the person because the person that you meet may seem like the perfect person for you but if they aren't that into you and if they aren't that into spending time with somebody and really having this kind of close connection you're not really looking for that person but instead the relationship okay um new perspectives obstacles so for some of you this week you'll be really delving into um your ancestry your genetics you know and uh those are things that maybe through a new perspective or a new way of looking at things. It might also be that you're being, you know, bound or held down by something and you're going to have a new way of looking at that. It could also be the Capricorn cars. There could be a Capricorn coming into your life. And the last card, one more card for wisdom. Okay. You know that no matter what you're facing, you know, difficulties with people, frustration, unable to communicate properly, heartbreak, heartache, you know, just like every single reading that I've done so far today, I just I feel like I can barely move and barely talk. You know, it's going to be a, a hard week for everyone, but just having the wisdom to know that we can choose this motivation of winning and being a winner. So the underneath the deck, the underlying energy is the Nine of Cups. And so the Nine of Cups is saying, you know, uh, spend that time in contemplation. You know, it's kind of interesting because that, that particular card reminds me of when I was in Ireland and how much I enjoyed at 19, you know, getting away and going out and sitting by a pond and watching a little bird sing and having that kind of true happiness in solitude. And uh, so many times we look for something so much more than that. And that's all we need is those, those little uh, quiet moments in life. And those little special moments in life so um take a look at my uh blog actually today i wrote a blog about a little bit about that of kind of like embracing the impermanent so i'll put i'll put that as in the um for people to look at in the description if they'd like Okay, so this week is going to be a hard one. Definitely uh, strengthen your uh, chakra. And let's take a look at the uh, Whispers of Love um, Oracle cards, uh, Water Signs. Okay, Ooh, it's got a lot of water. Have patience. I think we got the patience card too. Love is patient and kind always. And so part of this card is, you know, things come from different perspectives. Sometimes it's hard to see the whole picture. 
and uh, see you know how it all comes together and then we have kind of that energy of uh, peace and contentment and happiness and you know moving above and staying above all the the rat race and here we have you know she's looking down into the water and the water is it's it's like it's another world and it also has a shark in it it's kind of interesting so it's saying to you, you know, whatever you're dealing with in life, have patience for this week. Just, you know, let it pass through you, pass past you, pass over you, and just kind of let it be. Okay, so let's see. The wellness uh, from Abraham Hicks. Okay, the universe knows me. And the universe adores me. So, you know, really grasping, you know, this week, you know, we're laying in our beds, you know, comfortable beds, or we're going to sleep, we're, we're just, no matter what, loving where we're at and loving who we are and connecting with our higher self. If you will allow it, you will feel the love that flows to you and through you. You are always seen, always understood, and always loved. So no matter what situation you're in, even though this Two of Cups is going to be out of your control as to where you are, who you are, who you meet, and how things go in your life, um, you are always seen, always understood, and always loved. So that's a really cool message. I like that one. Okay, water signs. Thank you for coming to your reading today. Um, so great to see you. Check out the links uh, down in the uh, description. And I'll see you next week.